Hmm, let's see. What movie do I want to watch today? Let's see. Nope, nothing in this one. Nope, nothing on that page. Something with some real good camera movement. I think camera movement really revolutionized the, the cinema era. As a digital cinematography student at Full Sail University, I Floyd Coffee will have good camera movement. But I wonder how did they do it back in the early 1900s? How did they really get by with just one single camera angle to view on? I mean, everything had to take place within that one single area that the camera was viewing. In 1889, Thomas Edison and W.K. Dixon set out to produce the first motion picture camera. Upon completion, they dubbed it the Kinetograph. Even though it was capable of capturing motion picture, it had no sound and no color. Due to its size and weight and the limitations of technology, it could not move. So all the recorded footage had to be done within the parameters of the lens that was being used. Although there were some good films created back then, I mean films with really good comedy, really good comedy. What inventions came about that really revolutionized the camera movement? What enabled cameras to move the way they do? Adjustable heads only aided to the effectiveness of the tripods and by the 1920s, cranes and dollies alike were widely used within the film industry. Take that along with a good tripod dolly your video is ready to really take on some good movement and attract some attention. Now in the 1960s, the Steadicam became a standard. Even though a good tripod dolly is good, you have to have the wheels and the wheels have to roll. So the Steadicam really changed the game because now you could track subjects, you could track cars, anything that's moving, you could follow it around and still keep a steady shot. So no more shooting off the back of trains as the Lumiere brothers did. The Lumiere brothers also used the Eiffel Tower's lift to simulate crane movements. And if you're not familiar with a crane, a crane is a wonderful piece of equipment. It allows you to go from low angles to high angles, a arc sweeping motion, and it's all done very smoothly. Cranes can vary in size from being small enough for one person to use or being large enough where it takes a whole crew of four, five, six people in order to operate it. Thomas Edison states, I am experimenting upon an instrument which does for the eye what the phonograph does for the ear, which is the recording and reproduction of things in motion. of camera movement happened for one reason and that's to make the movie watching experience more enjoyable and even today cameras are evolving sound is evolving and movement in, in general is evolving around one thing and that's making your experience more enjoyable my name is Floyd Coffee, and I hope you enjoyed my presentation